Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the Mega Modded series. Apparently the Swindler was fixed recently, um, although I think I need another mod to fix it. Let me go check. Um, I, I, I've heard, I've heard things, but I've not checked the mod page recently, so... The mod that fixes bar- ah, damn it, it's not downloaded. Okay, fair enough. I will install that next time. For now, let's play as, uh, let's play as this fella. Let's play as this fella. Oh my god, the speed. The speed at which we move right now. We're sticking in turbo mode for now because I quite like uh, the challenge of turbo mode, even if it is making me play like absolute poo poo recently. I do apologize that we haven't had an episode in a week or so. I realize I've missed a few, but I have been doing things and stuff. And that Minecraft little mini series I've got going kind of got in the way of my Gungeon recording slot and kind of Gungeon uploading slot as well. So that kind of slightly interrupted a little bit, but. Um, we are back on the Gungeon grind, doing our thing, um, and we've got this little dude here with, uh, with the great little, uh, time warp weapon, whatever you want to call it, these little extra bullets that it fires. I think this is a, a really fun little mechanic, and we can find a bullet modifier that adds this to all of our shots, which I've never had on this character, but that would be pretty awesome to find, but pretty rare that we would get that. I'm just hoping this time we can get a run together that actually goes the distance, because... At the minute, I've not been playing super well, so we'll, we'll try our best and see what we can get done. But I'm really liking the fact that this character has immense extra speed right now. Um, we're able to kind of zip and zoom pretty quickly through the rooms here, and I, I'm, I'm very much enjoying that right now. I can kind of get out of the way of most shots without dodge rolling whatsoever, just because of our sheer speed. I very much like, I very much like. But yeah, I thought I'd play this character because it's been a little while and I like this one. I do got to remember I've got my active for um, a little bit of in invincibility when I need it as well. I don't believe I can shoot when it's active though. Yeah, it's a bit of time slow, bit of invincibility. It's useful for certain like bosses and rooms where things look a bit iffy. It's kind of like a reusable blank sort of, very similar. Table Tech Rage is actually not a bad item at all. If we uh, if we could grab that, I would not mind at all. Um, any room with a table, we get a pretty decent damage boost. I'm hoping we can get a additional key first before we buy that, though, uh, on room drop, which you normally do get on the first floor, but it's not every time. This doesn't require a key, luckily. Look at this clown. Literally, look at this clown. Oh, God, he hasn't... I didn't think he'd have that gun. Um, this is shop discount, isn't it? Um... 20% discount, coolness plus two. Okay. I'll keep this for now. I know my, my other active is, like, more unique, but this is good. What the hell is this? Baby Good Dogama. I've never heard of that before. So, if I if I drop my item, which is up, I think? 46, yeah. 46 down to 36. Damn. Nice. Okay. Might be able to get that. I mean, if I don't die, I'm currently not on great HP right now. I kind of didn't realize I was only starting with two HP as this character, which is... Something I should have been paying more attention to. Yeah, I'm really hoping we get that random key. It would make up my decisions easier. Because I do want to spend on that baby good whatever it is. But I also do want Table Tech Rage. There's a lot of things I want right now. We need 36 monies, 36 pennies. I think is reasonable to get. We should have taken the curse, maybe. I mean, to be fair, I might I might do that more often with taking the nine curse, because it is a bit of a challenge. There's that key. It is a bit of a challenge, but also, I think it's kind of nice to have for the extra money that you get on the first floor, because now there's shops that uh, always appear on the first floor. Also, we've got the messenger here, which is an absolute banger of a weapon. It's really, really good. This thing does very, very good damage. And it's just a fun weapon to use as well, so I'm happy for it. I'm happy for it. So we, we got enough money already for one of the items here. So we'll take the, the, the baby good, whatever it is. I honestly don't even know what the fuck this thing is. Um, This crystal crunching cutie is a young um dogger gamma cub with a chemical reaction in their saliva. Inflict blast blight by splitting molten rock. Afflicted enemies to explode after three instances of damage or on death. Okay. <laughs> A Blast Blight Companion seems pretty fun. I like the idea. I like the idea quite a bit. Calanthi Ring, I don't care for. Dodge Up is actually kind of bad in my opinion, but I'll take him.
So you're gonna spit rock and do blast blight. Okay, blast blight plus the messenger shotgun is really good because every pellet counts as an instance of damage. So three instances of damage just acts up pretty darn quickly. That's rather nice. So we hit you with blast blight and then we see you explode straight away. Good stuff. Good stuff. And we got double key after this as well, so... Oh, we got a great weapon for room clearing as well. Um, do we want to go to the next floor? Um, like, Oubliette, or do we want to go here? I think I'm going to go for this for now, because that gives us a key for the next floor as well. Ah! Uh, Sonic! <laughs> we got some Sonic in the business. Um, 36, 36... Yes! I have so many friends. The discount helped us helped us quite a lot there. Okay, down we go. We have four familiars on the first floor. Still a little bit opposed to the idea of that familiar shop being there every time, especially considering the discount that comes with it. But it's fun. You get to see some cool stuff, but it is a little strong. Depending on what the game decides to throw your way. Especially if it's stuff that's like ARS here. But, we've got some friends going on. Now, I do believe that, um, Sanic, if he does die, he does give us some stuff. Look at him go. I do believe that eventually he can die and he'll, he'll drop some stuff when he does die. I, this is one of my absolute favourite vanilla weapons, like full auto weapons especially. So what exactly do the rings do? Uh, that, is that his health or do they count as money? I don't remember. I don't remember how the rings work. But yeah, very, very strong weapon. And then on top of that, it's got the last bullet that does extra damage too, which I think is pretty useful. It's all around just a very, very good weapon. I made it. Make our way around through this room. Sanic, you do your thing. He's doing a good job so far. He seems to be somewhat cursed right now. But my dog boy is getting all the way down here. He's on his way. Bit extra HP there, lovely. Yeah, th this, this speed plus this weapon and the messenger. I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time. That Blast Blight stuff is great as well on occasion. I like that. Hey, more ammo for this bad boy straight off the bat. I like that before we even run out. I will use the Messenger again, but this thing... This thing's our room clearer right now. The Messenger can be our boss killer. I think they both pair pretty well into those slots. That was a pretty gnarly hit there. You got me again. It's okay. We've got health stored up, so it's not that big a deal. I do hope we find more shops we can utilize with a shop discount as well. Synergy chest will crack open straight away. We did get a synergy and it's a pretty good synergy as well. Increased coolness by two for each point of curse. And then we got a synergy with... Deviled Gregs. I, I don't know what that synergy does, but I'm intrigued. Maybe he gives us a cursed item when he cracks or something. I don't know, but I'm, I'm down to find out. I am down to find out, sir. Any any friend of Greg's is a friend of mine. And the synergy is most certainly a friend of Greg's. Deviled Greg's. What a what a little what a little punny guy. What a little cheeky. Right, what we got going on in here? Just buy that for now. Grab one of these. Up to full HP again. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, wolf, bite. <laughs> they didn't feel like biting at that point. And, oh, that, that's what he does. We found it out. We found it out. He will shoot beams on occasion. Platinum star. I've never seen that before, but we don't have an ST as a trade. I think we can trade an AR or an ST, but I don't believe we have either. We'll crack that open and get something that I hate. Well, it does have a synergy. It does have a synergy. Sniper Woof. Oh, God. SSS Sniper Woof. 
gross. <laughs> what a disgusting content creator that is. A scourge on the YouTube platform. Any content creator whose content is basically just, I have tits and I'm attractive, can just leave. <laughs> You're allowed to have tits on the platform. You're allowed to have tits and be attractive on the platform. You're not allowed to use that as your reason to be on the platform. Go to OnlyFans. Right, anyways. Enough ranting. We got sponge bullets. Is that sponge bullets? Odd shells will mimic the effect of other bullet items while held. What? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. So, maybe it means that if I have, like, hot lead, it gives me two hot leads, increasing my chance of firing hot lead shots? I don't know. I'm unsure exactly how that, but by the wording, exactly how that would work. By mimicking other bullet items. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, wait. We have larger shots now, most definitely. Oh, wait. Does it mimic a random bullet item? Like, maybe each floor, or maybe it's just a random one. Yeah, I think it's a random one per room. Because I definitely had um, increased shot size then. If so, that's a really cool item. Yeah, if so, that's a really cool item. Let me get random bullet effects per room. Yeah, I just, I've got, like, something wacky going on right here, look. Oh, so it, it, it might, I don't think it's pair room even. It should just be random. Hope. Oh. Okay. It just takes a random bullet item and every so often mimics it. I actually really like this. This is really cool. I think there's a sound effect associated with it when it changes as well. Sonic is just making so much noise that we can't tell. Yeah. Vorpal shot there going off. Oh, I'm shooting backwards now. <laughs> I really like this. This is a really, really cool item. I love bullet effects, so having, like, random ones all the time seems fun. For the most part, it's going to be an improvement to our run. There's only a few that it could screw us over on. Like, corrupted bullets could be a bit, bit fucky, but... Got a really itchy nerve for some reason. I'm gonna have to itch it after this room. Very annoying. Oh, my God. Cool. Keep it going. Um, we got chance bullets. But, like, as an item. <laughs> so, that's kind of interesting. It actually physically gives us the item for a short time. Meaning, synergies can trigger off of the back of the items we gain. I'm guessing that trip, that synergy just disappears the moment we lose the item. That's cool, though. It still works with synergies. I like this quite a bit. Hello, weird room. I will eventually delve deeper into your secrets, but not today. Slowing shot. Snare bullets. I'm glad that it takes from modded ones as well, by the way. It's not just vanilla bullet effects. All sorts of bullet effects going on. Come on, my little dude. Fire at more things with the with the light blast. Gotta watch out for when Sanic dies. Oh my god, this is so many mushrooms to deal with. Holy shit, I have 
made this room significantly harder. Bloody 9mm going off. Holy damn. Clown shots. Not bad, not bad. Hard reload bullets, energy plate shield. Um, stationary orbitals um, will disable itself for a few seconds. I'm going to take that. Ah, chicken with a balloon. Sorry, chicken. <laughs> Gotta love clown bullets. Clown bullets is a lot of fun. Secret room in here. Oh, hello. Um, you can have. I only have... I don't really have enough weapons to give you right now. I'll come back to you. Hey, old clown. How you doing? I'm clowning a lot of fools right now. Everything's turning into clowns. Okay, lovely. Oh, you've, you've dropped some coins, my guy. Some rings. Open that up and what the hell is this? Fires cards whose range increases with accuracy. Ammo can be regained by picking up cards from the floor. Seems interesting. Kind of like the idea. Seems cool. Wonder how much damage it does. Let's find out. If it's trash, we can uh, we can throw it in the pot. It's, unfortunately, the damage isn't great. <laughs> but it's a really cool idea for a weapon, though, and I've got a synergy with something right now. I love the idea of picking up cards to regain ammo. That's a really fun idea. Sanic, no. I will get your rings back. Okay. I think I'm going to trade it in, though, even if it is interesting. Oh, it's another buddy. Molotov buddy. Here we go. Right. Back over here. Card thing. Boss going into the pot. Oh, wait. Is it only one gun I got to put in the pot? Oh, that makes me annoyed. I thought it was two. Whip. A long-range weapon that deals high melee damage at its tip, it fires a fast projectile when extended, can only melee hit when fully extended, increases chaos by three. I like the idea. It seems interesting. Let's keep it going. It seems intriguing to me indeed. Um, right. <laughs> this is actually really cool. Whoever made this, it's got, it's literally a whip with a fucking gun on the end of it. Look at that. It doesn't seem super strong, but it's... Oh, wait, it's not infinite ammo. I was going to say it's infinite ammo. It's not. It's only got 100 rounds. I need to use this thing more sparingly. I'm just spamming it. I think we do have better stuff in our inventory. Oh, this is really cool. Yeah, it's not particularly strong, I don't think, for the ammo it has. But it's cool. It's really cool. With this speed, I can't really aim where I'm going. I need some more ammo for my, uh, my cannon. My Luxem cannon. That would be lovely. Whoop, this guy managed to create a, a friend. I'd like you to undo that, please. Become clown. 
I'm gonna run out of ammo on this bad boy soon. We got wooden guanstone. Uh, wooden bullets. What do wooden bullets do? Gives a very minor increase. Oh, these got respited in a recent update. They used to look a lot worse than this. It's good. That's why I didn't recognize them. Um, they got a pretty a, a pretty good upgrade to their to their like sprite, and they look a hell of a lot better now. So, well done, Nevernim, for making a much better sprite for these. Because they were one of the, one of the first things he created, I think. So they, they were a bit like lacking before. I'm having a hard time here. Thank God I had uh, armor to deal with that. That's a lot of ammo. And basically just a lot of ammo. And finally use our cannon again. That was bullshit, man. <laughs> Guy came running at me at the speed of sound. Uh, I'm on fire. Something about this doesn't feel fair. How am I taking damage still? What's going on? One second. Right, I'm going to keep on trucking. Keep on going. Oh, I didn't mean to get my whip out there. Let's go. I've been getting uh, Junkin recently in uh, the Binding of Isaac series. Someone added it. So someone made it a Warp Zone mod, which essentially takes a, a bunch of the cards from the, um, from the Fossils board game and makes them into actual items in game, which is really cool. Um, and some of them are things from other games, like the gun that can kill the past and, and Junkin from this game. Free range Gregs as well. Oh god, I got hit so many times there. That was foolish of me. Oh, I just fired a random whip there. Is that because of my chance bullets that I currently have? This is a hard ass room, my god. I'm surprised Sonic's still alive, you know. He dies pretty quick normally. Do I have Curse Infestation as well? I'm not entirely sure, but I feel like I do. Yeah, I definitely do. More ammo for this bad boy. I'm loving it when I instantly turn an, uh, an enemy into a clown with like the first bullet. Feels good, man. We've got flak bullets going right now. I think if I pick up the, the, the rings, that's maybe when he doesn't die. Like it heals him or something, brings it back to full HP. Where's that chest sat? Go devolve the bullets, why not? Join the crew of bullet modifiers. Right. Ah, that was beautiful. Devolver bullets actually procked there in a pretty timely manner. Okay, that was kind of close, but we got there. Um, I don't know what this does, but if it's a speed up, I want it. Oh, no, I think it just makes everything spin faster. Okay, funnily enough, it makes my stationary orbitals spin. <laughs> so I think what's happening here is the um, the stationary orbitals aren't actually stationary. They just move like so slowly that they basically never move. And the ring of one swiftness makes everything move uh, a set like a set base speed. Increases rotational velocity, yeah. That's pretty cool. So we've made our non-rotating uh, armor pieces start rotating, which is funny. And we shall go and do the boss now. The messenger back out. Oh god, that's right in the way again. I realize that normally you wouldn't be picking up this item in the middle of a boss fight, so... Typically, that's not a problem, but still. Yeah. Yeah. I used to find this attack so difficult. And now, it, I won't say it's easy now, but it's like not the hard attack, really, that this guy does. Of the attacks he has, it's not the hard one. This one is harder, as you can see by the fact that I just got hit by it. And this, that, that one of the skulls is harder as well. Supersonic. 
Um, oh, it's a it's a weapon. This. Oh, that's that's really cool. It must be a reference to something with a sound effect. Right, last floor. Let us go. Feeling good on this run thus far. Let us go. Boys, let us go. Well, I got 1.97 damage right now, a 9 curse. But I think that's because our current item... Also, we have 20 coolness. I think that's because our current item we've been given from our bullet modifiers is one that increases our curse and increases our damage. I don't think we'll have that for long. Because I don't see why our damage or curse would be that high. Our curse should be at 7 right now. Seven's what we're, we're currently at. So it's a shame we don't have an active item, because like a, a proper active item that isn't just the coin. Because uh, we've got quite a lot of coolness, regardless of what our uh, item is right now, because even at seven we have 14 coolness. Or more, I think. Maybe like... Maybe like 16 coolness, something like that. Come on, game. Sort yourself out. This flodge takes forever to load. It's a shame. The game really doesn't know what it's doing. Like I said, it's that crystal room, it, 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 the diamond or whatever it is. It buggers things up. The generation of it's really weird. And it, it, it caused the game to kind of chug a little bit. Chugs along. It might get there. It might get there. But for now, we'll just chill and pretend that everything's fine. Treat this like a podcast. How's everyone doing on this day? <clears throat> I'm currently watching a video of a man feeding a dog pineapple on my phone. And uh, now he's atta the dog is attacking the man because he was going to feed the dog the pineapple and then he fed it to himself and the dog was not happy. This is our life now. Yeah, my girlfriend just came in to tell me as well that uh, we've been pl we've been playing through um, the Tomb Raider remastered. Uh, it came out like a few days ago, and both me and her played a lot of Tomb Raider when we were younger. Uh, so it's kind of like a classic for us. Um, and Tomb Raider remastered just came out, so we've been playing through the first Tomb Raider, and she we we got stuck on a level, and we thought we were just being stupid. We thought like, oh, we're just being idiots. Turns out, like the game was just bugged. There was just like a wall somewhere where there shouldn't be a wall. We checked all the guys. There's no lever you got to pull. There's no different way to open it. It is just straight up. This wall shouldn't be there. And it did look at the, the wall looked a little glitchy. There was like a seam underneath the door, like or next to the door where you could see like a texture missing. So we were, we were definitely thinking like this is this is weird. And luckily she just found that there's a there's a second way into the room from the opposite side. Um, and we didn't figure that out the first time around. So we got past that at least. I'm thinking we're going to have to leave this here, people, because um, we've been waiting quite some time and this hasn't loaded, which is a shame. But you know what? I'll g we're at 28 minutes 40. I'll give it till 30 minutes. And at that point, we'll call it quits if it hasn't loaded by then. I mean, it is doing something because the little Gungeon man is, is chugging along. He's, he's taking his time. Normally, if he's, if he's got a smooth animation, you're fucked. <laughs> if he's chugging along like this, normally it means there's something going on in the back end. It's doing some sort of... Uh, loading or generating so th there is still something happening but <clears throat> it's not looking super likely considering we've been here for a few minutes already but sparpy uh, special api i would highly recommend removing that diamond room for now uh, just because it seems to cause all sort of problems with the level generation and at least from what i know i don't believe that diamond room actually does anything to do with any sort of grander story or grander thing yet so i'd, I'd highly recommend just removing that room for now because it seems to cause issues um, if anyone, if he isn't watching, if anyone else is watching, could relay that information, that'd be great. I just think it could potentially solve this. I, I'm not 100% sure if that is what causes this, but it does seem to be. And from what I've heard from, um, from Apache from Expand the Gungeon, he sort of commented on the fact that it might be something to do with that. So, um, I don't know, maybe look into it. Maybe it's something to be optimized. But if, if, I, if anything, I'd say for now, just disable the room, just to clear up the issue until uh, a, a sort of proper resolution can be resolved. 
But unfortunately, we have reached our time limit. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode regardless. I know this is a bit of a sad way to end it because we're having quite a bit of fun. But that is Gungeon in a nutshell. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one.